Watch Caitlin and I, weekends on Live Local CBS 3. We want to make a difference. Tonight, more than a thousand people hit the streets in Duluth commemorating the end of slavery, but some say there's still work to be done. And a new and dangerous phase. That's what health experts are saying about the coronavirus pandemic as we move into summer. And a Northland fall favorite has been canceled. Why you won't be seeing a popular Northwest Wisconsin festival in 2020. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. And I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. There's movement at the Capitol tonight after days of gridlock and bipartisan back and forth on police reform. In the last hour, Senate Republicans made a final offer on police reform during the special session. Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka outlined a list of nearly a dozen things they will support that would hold law enforcement more accountable. That includes helping police officers deal with stress and trauma after critical incidents, banning chokeholds and neck restraints, instructing officers to preserve the sanctity of life and use non-deadly force whenever possible, and much more. Things they won't support include restoring voting rights for felons, anything that defunds or dismantles a police force, and providing the attorney general with independent jurisdiction for the prosecution of police-involved deaths. Now, right now, it is unclear how receptive Democrats are to these proposals. They had proposed a justice reform bill that goes much further. Republicans have said they will adjourn the special session at midnight tonight, regardless of whether lawmakers reach a deal. In Wisconsin, Governor Tony Evers is calling on the legislature to pass criminal justice reform. Some of the measures include setting use of force standards, requiring officers to step in if they see another using excessive force, and prohibiting no-knock warrants. The governor called them first steps towards dismantling racism in Wisconsin, which consistently ranks among the worst for racial disparities. Evers hasn't ordered a special session for the Republican-controlled legislature to take up the proposals, but Assembly Democrats and the Black Legislative Caucus have asked for a special session. Tonight, people across the country gathered to commemorate Juneteenth, 155 years after the end of slavery in the United States. That includes right here in Duluth, where two marches became one rally this afternoon in downtown. More than a thousand people showed their support for the Black Lives Matter movement, while also calling on action and change when it comes to racial justice. CBS 3's Jesse Slater was at today's rally and has more. We want to make a difference. A rally and march Friday brought hundreds to Clayton Jackson McGee Memorial to mark the day slavery was abolished. But this year, an additional message from those who celebrated Juneteenth. If we don't take the stand now and we don't get up there and say, hey, you know, we're people too, then we might not ever get that chance. Community members from all walks of life came out, showing support for the Black Lives Matter movement. Like so many times, the energy runs out. I think that this time, change can be made. Meanwhile, down at Bayfront Festival Park, another group sharing the same sentiments. Celebrate black people, celebrate black joy, and continue to buckle down and work towards black liberation. Police brutality! Through a march, the two groups joined as one at the steps of City Hall. Many taking to the stage to share their experiences with racial injustice and pleading for reform. Hoping to keep the momentum going for a movement sweeping across the globe. Duluth police tell us the evening remained peaceful. There were no arrests or citations. Eight years ago today, Duluth was underwater. Here's a look at the aftermath of the heavy rain that bombarded the Northland in June of 2012. A state of emergency was declared for Duluth and some surrounding cities. Jay Cook State Park, Duluth Lake Superior Zoo, and the surrounding neighborhoods took some of the biggest hits. We'll head over to Caitlin now. Caitlin, nothing like that today. <laughs> Sunshine, blue skies. Yes, and exactly why I figured to show the drought monitor because we are the complete opposite yeah. in terms of the floods you guys saw in 2012. Most of the Northland is facing quite a bit of a drought season this year. Now, we are over the five and a half inch deficit as of January 1st to where we are. We are five inches short, so to say, of rainfall. Now, just for the month of June, we're seeing a deficit of about two inches. So you can see on the map here, most of Minnesota is under that dry, and some areas are in that moderate category. 
in terms basically we just need a lot of moisture and we just aren't getting that quite yet temperatures as of 1004 this evening still pretty mild to the south of Duluth we're starting to cool off up to the north in those mid to low 50s we're looking at 62 up on the hill in Duluth 66 down here in Canal Park and 63 down in Hinkley otherwise clear skies as high pressure still remains off to the south, east of us over Lake Superior and that's providing us those clear skies calm winds a very nice evening those clouds have also moved out of northern Wisconsin and we are in for some more rain showers in the next couple of days so I'll have those details coming up in just a bit all right thanks Caitlin Tonight, the World Health Organization says we are in a new and dangerous phase of the coronavirus pandemic after shattering a record number of new cases in a single day globally. More than 2.2 million cases have now been confirmed in the U.S. and nearly 119,000 people have been killed nationwide. And tonight, at least 24 states are reporting increases in new infections. Here's CBS's Jamie Ugas. New spikes tonight in coronavirus cases in states from coast to coast. Apple is now closing some reopened stores in newly hard hit states. Three, two, COVID positive three, tests in the MLB, NHL, and PGA are forcing some sports facilities to close. Major cruise lines are agreeing to suspend operations in the United States until September 15th. And AMC, expected to open a thousand theaters next month, will now require customers to wear masks after first announcing they would be optional. California and parts of Oregon are now requiring those in public to wear masks. But in Arizona, this is a sign of control. Woo! Dr. Anthony Fauci told CBS Radio that he's frustrated with the debate. Clearly, we have not succeeded in getting the public as a whole uniformly to respond in a way that is a sound scientific public health and medical situation. The Big Apple will allow outdoor dining and indoor retail. Salons like 718 in Brooklyn are ready to give haircuts with precautions. Our employees are going to have on a mask. They're also going to have on a face shield. Phase two of reopening New York starts Monday. Here in Los Angeles, tattoo parlors, nail salons, and bars open Friday, even as more than 4,000 new cases were being reported across California. In some instances, businesses here will not just require masks, but also facial shields be worn by some employees. Jimmy Yuka, CBS News, Los Angeles. Well, closer to home, Essential Health is updating their visitor policy. The hospital system released new guidance today. Effective immediately, visit, visitor hours are between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. daily. One adult visitor at a time will be allowed per patient. Chaplains and clergy will also be allowed to visit. No visitors will be allowed for patients who have tested positive for COVID-19, except for end-of-life situations. Visitors entering essential health facilities must use designated entrances and are required to wear a mask and will be screened for COVID-19. New at 10, the Superior School District laid out a timeline for when parents will know what to expect in the fall. According to a letter sent to families, the district expects to share their plan the week of July 20th. It will include details about reopening this fall. During the week of July 27th, parents will be able to register their students for virtual learning, busing, and before and after school programs. They're asking people to register so they know which students will need each service. They're also asking people to be flexible because things could change based on the virus. And one of the Northland's favorite fall events has been canceled. The 59th annual Bayfield Apple Festival will not happen this year. The Bayfield Chamber and Visitor Bureau made that announcement this afternoon, citing community safety during the ongoing pandemic. Chamber reps say the cancellation will be devastating to local orchards and business owners. The event usually brings 50,000 people to the town of less than 500. It is rescheduled, though, for October 1st through 3rd of 2021. Oh, I'm going to miss the apple crisp this year. <laughs> Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, a special brew for a special person. A local brewery is unveiling a one-of-a-kind drink. We have the details coming up. And your grilling forecast for Saturday starts on a dry note, but those rain chances do increase as the day goes on. Those details coming up next. Live Local CBS 3 News at 10 with Kristen Vaughn, Anthony Matt, Kelly Hinson, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on live local CBS3.
Watch Anthony Mann weekdays at 6 and 10 p.m. on live local CBS3 Duluth. Water makes life possible on Earth and in our homes. Culligan conserves this resource with its high-efficiency water softener, the world's best because it uses less water, and that matters to all of us. Click or call Culligan Water and start saving today. At UCARE, we've been decomplicating Medicare plans in Minnesota for a long time. In fact, we've been offering Medicare Advantage plans longer than anyone else. Our Medicare Advantage plans are affordable. And 96% of Minnesota providers accept UCARE. So if your provider practices at any of these clinics or hospitals, you can likely keep them. To learn the basics and see how UCARE Medicare Advantage plans compare to others, visit UCARE.org slash TV. We asked real customers what they really love about Spectrum Internet and TV. Spectrum Internet has the fastest speeds for everything I do. There is no turning wheel. It's immediate. Spectrum is the fastest. Bam. <laughs> Get the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance with Spectrum Internet, delivering starting speeds of 100 megabits. That's more than enough for all your devices for $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. I can't get over how much on-demand Spectrum has. I can literally watch a new movie every night. I got all my shows, and he's got all his shows. With the Spectrum TV app, I can watch live TV anywhere. It's perfect. Add Spectrum TV and enjoy more free HD and more free on-demand. Plus, use the Spectrum TV app to watch live TV on the go. All from $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. The fact that they don't have contracts, that says a lot about their service. Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. Install Spectrum services yourself. Get a self-installation kit shipped right to your home. Call 833-906-4499. Dinner with the Drakes. Tonight? Alexa, ask me what to start my own for GX. Four fillets. You know this dinner's for their kids. Thanks for watching them. Where's the pizza? The first ever Buick Encore GX. Right now, get 2,000 purchase allowance on the first ever Buick Encore GX. Visit your Lake Country Buick dealer. Always on the go, but want to keep up with the day's news? Don't worry. Now we are wherever you are. Traveling? No problem. Stream wherever, whenever with live local CBS3. Watch Anthony Mann weekdays at 6 and 10 p.m. on live local CBS3 Duluth. It was another warm and enjoyable day across the Northland. We sat at 75 degrees, 72 being that average. But that monthly departure in terms of rain is where we're really hurting. We are in currently a drought for most of Minnesota. Here's just a quick look at the drought monitor. Uh, some areas in that darker brown shades are in that moderate section, while the rest of Minnesota is still under that dry section. I've mentioned it several times. We're over that five and a half inch mark deficit of where we should be at in terms of rainfall. A lot of these systems we come through, we don't get a whole lot in the Twin Ports area. And the good news is, is the extended seven-day forecast does have several chances, just very small chances throughout the extended. Right now, we're sitting under that high pressure, so still very calm outside tonight. Mild in some spots. We've got some clearing skies in Minnesota. Clouds, a few clouds in northern Wisconsin and the UP. And winds are also very calm as they start to shift out of the east for Saturday. Also, the first day of summer is when actually things start to cool down a bit. So we've got two low pressures, one to the north and west, one to the south and east. So northern Wisconsin will start to see some rain showers, a few isolated thunderstorms earlier in the afternoon on Saturday. Those don't arrive into the Twin Boards until later this evening, uh, later until Saturday evening. And then the chances for showers and thunderstorms do continue into Sunday as that low pressure kind of merges together. We'll see an off and on spotty shower chance in the early morning hours through the early afternoon. Things will then clear out. Temperatures in those low 70s for Sunday. Now those temperatures right around average, average being 72 degrees. So we're seeing more of a seasonable change in the next several days that we've seen more of an above average the past couple of days. We've got another low pressure system kind of headed our way for Monday. Now this system will mainly affect northern Wisconsin, bringing them some decent rainfall. Twin ports will be clipped by that system. We'll see mostly cloudy skies. Mainly that rain will stay to the south, but there's a chance the Twin Ports could see some rain as well Monday afternoon. Temperatures right around that average, 73 degrees. So time it out for you here on the Futurecast. We'll see you by Saturday, 8 o'clock in the morning. Most of Minnesota, we're seeing plenty of sunshine, a few clouds to the north and west. 
but over in Ironwood and Watersme already picking up in on some rain showers and that continues to uh, start to push north and east as the system kind of moves up from the south. We'll see clouds increase by Saturday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but Twin Ports still remaining dry and that east wind, so cold air by the lake. It's going to be much cooler by the lake. Rain starts to move in by Saturday night. Since I showed you this at 5 and 6, the radar has, act, or the future cast has backed off quite a bit on some of these rain shower chances. So once again, keep in mind that these rain chances will be very small Saturday. We will stay mainly dry. And then Sunday morning, we stay under mostly cloudy skies. And then those chances for scattered and showers, you'll notice just very small in nature. So that's just as overall realizing that some areas are going to see some quick bouts of rain. Some areas are still going to be under those partly cloudy skies and remain dry. So it's all a matter of where and where you are at that time. Saturday, for grilling forecast, we're looking at a pretty comfortable day Saturday, much cooler than the past several days. So by the afternoon, 68 degrees, partly cloudy skies in the Twin Ports. By 2 o'clock, we'll see mostly cloudy skies. And then by Saturday evening, if you're south of Duluth, you'll start to see some rain showers kind of move into the region. Temperatures in those 70s. And then tonight, partly cloudy skies, 54 up on the hill, 58 down by the lake. Winds are pretty calm overnight tonight. It's overall going to be a very enjoyable evening tonight. And then tomorrow, temperatures do warm back up into those low 70s for the first day of summer. I mean, we pretty much got a taste of summer this whole last week with all those 80s. We typically don't get so many temperatures in the 80s. And now uh, we've got seasonable temps all week and then several chances of, small chances of yeah. rain. I, I'm just starting to hope that one of those pays off. I feel like we've gone the entire year so far without one of those nice good spring soakers. Just you know? a good one that all day. Yeah, rain. exactly. Yeah. So one. <laughs> maybe one of those will develop. Hopefully. Thanks, Caitlin. Yep. Ursa Minor in Duluth's Lincoln Park neighborhood is brewing up something special for one of their own. And the name of the summer drink certainly speaks for itself. CBS 3's Leanne Valdez explains. And this is like my spirit animal. <laughs> Sarah Hugis would describe herself as a pretty strong woman. Her husband, Ben, on the other hand, knows her as something more. This was kind of a surprise for my wife, who um, is a badass warrior goddess. Sarah's history she, um, backs the name we up. Really we had a really hard winter and, and spring. Her water broke last August, resulting in having her baby boy, Oscar, six and a half weeks early. Oscar was in the NICU for about three weeks. The difficult news didn't stop brewing there. The next day, I found out that they had found cancer in my placenta. Sarah underwent seven rounds of chemo in four months. It was like a survival mode. You know, you just like don't have a choice. Ben and you, he had to celebrate her grit in a big way. We brewed so many different beers here at Ursa Minor, and it's about time that one was about my wife. Ursa Minor released their New England IPA this week. Ben says the name and label is the epitome of who his wife is. This is kind of a silhouette of Wonder Woman, who is pretty much a badass. Sarah says the beer also represents all mothers and women around the Northland, especially her core group, who rose up to donate breast milk when she couldn't produce for her baby because of chemo. Not only mothers, but women in general and, and, and how amazing women are. And I think it's really neat to have a beer that celebrates that. Sarah did beat cancer, and her baby boy is doing just fine. And with each crowler sold, Ursa Minor will donate $1 to the Northland Newborn Foundation. Two local bars are teaming up to help out the community and each other. Earth Rider Brewery in Superior, Wisconsin, is giving away old beer that hasn't sold due to less demand during the COVID-19 pandemic. They're donating it to Vikra Distillery in Duluth. Vikra will be using the alcohol from the beer to continue making hand sanitizer. This is a really good way for us to take something that basically is, is garbage and for them to process it in a way that makes it useful and make that available to the community in, in, in a new way. Earth Rider Brewers say repurposing the old beer is better for the environment rather than having it go down the drain. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, the president is holding a rally in Oklahoma tomorrow and protesters plan to be out in full force. The president's warning next. CBS 3 Live Cams are brought to you by Kohler Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. You're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. The nursing program at Fond du Lac Tribal and Community College is really challenging, but it has to be. It's approved by the Board of Nursing. And graduates here have been successfully passing the state board exam. They give you real-world experience with healthcare institutions across the community. I'm really glad I chose Fond du Lac Tribal and Community College. Don't risk life or limb cleaning out your gutters. 
With one simple click or call, Gutter Helmet will provide a free inspection and estimate to eliminate the dangerous chore permanently. Our certified installers will clean out, tune up, install Gutter Helmet over new or existing gutters, and clean up the work area in less than a day. Gutter Helmet blends in beautifully with your home, is engineered to handle the heaviest of rainfalls, and is backed by a lifetime transferable warranty, assuring you'll never clean your gutters again. Gutter Helmet, retiring ladders since 1981. The 2020 Subaru Forester. The SUV for all you love. Standard symmetrical all-wheel drive plus 33 miles per gallon. Standard EyeSight driver assist technology. A spacious and comfortable interior. The best SUV for all you do. Get 0% APR financing on all new 2020 Subaru Forester models now through June 30th. Visit us online at MillerHill.com. Our Northland may not have the longest severe weather season, but it does come around every now and then. I'm hoping folks will keep an eye to the sky and on Channel 3 here this summer. If severe weather threatens Austin Haskins, Caitlin Moffat, and I will keep our eyes glued to the radar. We'll break in if you need to hear about the latest storm developments. We'll work together to keep our region safe. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS3. Here at Angie's Closet, we are a boutique that carries a variety of women's clothing in all shapes, sizes, and styles that are friendly on your wallet. Come let Angie and her team help you get your wardrobe ready for any occasion this summer. We feature name brands like Calvin Klein, Kate Spade, J. Crew, and more. Come see why women from all over the country say this is the best consignment boutique they have ever shopped. Stop in today at Angie's Closet, located on Tower Avenue in Superior, Wisconsin. I chose a career that isn't easy, it's dangerous, and it's hard. Fond du Lac Tribal and Community College has set me up with everything I need to succeed. Through challenging classes, longer defensive tactics training, and instructors who work in the industry, Fond du Lac Tribal and Community College is setting me up for success. With severe weather hits, tune to CBS3. Tonight at 10, we'll be out here in the storm. For up-to-date coverage morning and night. Oh, stay away from here. Live local weather coverage on CBS3 Duluth. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW. Cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. President Trump plans to rally his supporters in Tulsa, Oklahoma tomorrow, and protesters plan to be there, too. That has the president taking to Twitter to threaten any demonstrators who might cross him. Meanwhile, health experts are asking anyone who is going to be in a crowd to wear a mask. Today, White House officials tried to downplay the risks of catching the coronavirus at a rally where thousands of people will be gathering inside. But Dr. Anthony Fauci told CBS Radio people in large crowds should wear a mask if they cannot practice social distancing. Meanwhile, the president will be making a stop in Wisconsin next week. The president will be stopping at a shipbuilding factory in Marionette, which is in the far eastern portion of the state. The White House says the president will be touring the shipyard and delivering a speech. He is expected to discuss the recent contract Marionette Marine received to build up to 10 new ships for the U.S. Navy. The contract could add 1,000 new jobs and invest $200 million into the facility. Coming up in sports, hear from former Duluth East standout Garrett Worth after announcing his commitment to go D1. Slumberland's huge clearance event, massive markdowns all over, closeouts, floor samples, one-of-a-kind items, plus get totally free doorstep shipping. Hurry into our huge clearance event and save. Only at Slumberland Furniture. Fleet Farm has what dads want for Father's Day. Whether he's chilling by the fire or heating up the grill, Fleet Farm has great deals for dad. Get a $10 Fleet Farm gift card when you spend $50 or more on Yeti drinkware. And select Under Armour Apparel for the family, 25% off our low fleet price. Plus, Fleet Farm gift cards make the perfect gift for Father's Day. Fleet Farm, built for real life. This isn't a small business opening. You already had one of those. It's a reopening. Take two. And just in time. Because right now, people need coffee that tastes like coffee. And hair that doesn't look like that. 
They need someone who knows where those numbers actually go. They need you and everything that made your business great from your first day one. Yeah, we've been knocked back on our heels, and it took a minute, but it still says florist or repairs or plumber over that door. And there are still customers who can't wait to walk through it. That light at the end of the tunnel? It's a workout that doesn't involve two bags of flour. It's a 20-foot-tall inflatable guy saying, come on by. It's you and your small business turning your community and the country around. One appointment, one customer, one thank you at a time. Small business is coming back. And Spectrum Business is giving every new customer one free month of Spectrum Business services to make sure it does. We're here for you because you're here for all of us. While I was reaching into the truck to grab a chain, I got hit by a car. And it crushed my left leg, severing it, and then it severely broke my right leg as well. One thing that I am so grateful for is that my husband, throughout this whole incident, he wasn't bitter about any of it. He was just grateful. And part of that gratefulness is, is having someone like Schwebel Getz and Steven on our side taking care of us. I would definitely recommend Schwebel Getz and Steven to anyone. They're just top notch. Bonjour and dinner, we am going to hello all my relatives. I'm Dr. Arnie Vineo, and I live in Duluth, and I love Duluth and the surrounding communities. Keeping COVID-19 from spreading is going to depend on all of us. Washing our hands frequently, keeping social distance, staying home if you can, and wearing a face mask is important. We need to keep our elders and those most vulnerable safe. This is about respect. This is about love. Slumberland's huge mattress clearance event. Crazy markdowns on all kinds of mattresses, like a Sealy Queen mattress as low as $149. Plus, overstocks, closeouts, floor samples. Hurry to Slumberland's clearance mattress event. Don't miss out. Well, just a few months ago, Long Island University announced that they were going to join the ranks of Division I hockey. Today, it looks like they had their first commit from the Northland. Former Duluth East standout Garrett Worth announced via his social media that he has committed to play at Long Island University in Brookville, New York. The athletics program announced its decision to form a hockey program back on April 30th. Worth, who originally committed to Arizona State, split time in the USHL and the NAHL this past season, including a stint with the Minnesota Wilderness. He tallied 14 goals in 28 games. I've been talking to uh, Long Island. Brett Riley is coach there for a couple weeks now. So, um, I mean, I knew last night kind of that I was going to go there after our phone call. And he just said, uh, give it tonight and talk to your parents a little bit. And so I, I gave him a call kind of 30 minutes before work. So today at work was a little little difficult to stay calm and stuff. But uh, it's really exciting, and uh, I feel really blessed. A day after stepping down as the Northland College women's hockey coach, Kelly Ryder has been named as the new head coach for Curry College. Ryder started the Jills hockey program back in 2015 and spent four years at the helm coaching the Lumber Jills. The program would show steady improvement in her time at the helm. The Minnesota Twins removed a statue of former owner Calvin Griffin from outside Target Field due to his racist statements in the past earlier today. The team released a statement today saying, while we acknowledge the prominent role Calvin Griffith, Griff, Griffith played in our history, we cannot remain silent and continue ignoring the racist comments he made in Wasika in 1978. That's when Griffith said during a speaking engagement that he relocated the Washington Senators in 1961 because there were so few black people in the state and because there were good, hardworking white people in Minnesota. The twins said his words displayed a blatant intolerance and disregard for the black community that are the antithesis of what the Minnesota twins stand for and value, end quote. The crowd is one of the driving forces that push runners past the finish line at Grandma's Marathon. But this year, it's all up to the runners to finish as the race goes virtual. Runners face a number of challenges this year at the Grandma's Marathon. With the race going virtual, motivation coming from the crowd is no more. I do think that's going to be the bigger challenge um, for sure, just because you won't have the crowds cheering you on. Tony Stenslin, a running coach, says to look towards the ones you can count on. You can utilize some friends and family, family members to sort of be your, your cheer squad. That helps a lot. But for those riding solo, Stenslin takes a more mental approach. If you don't have some people out there to help you and you really are solo 
Uh, maybe just dig down deep and stay focused and maybe you run each mile for a different person that's close to you. Social media is another helpful tool as runners can connect with those as they do the race. If you have your cell phone with you is, you know, let people know that you're out doing this at this time and maybe they're going to be texting you along the way. This is a virtual race so some of the rules and some of the etiquettes sort of kind of go out the window and try to make it fun and uh, an enjoyable, ex enjoyable experience for yourself. Creating your own race experience will only pay dividends in the end. If you know where your finish line is, sidewalk chalk, an actual finish line, right? Finish on it. Maybe kind of some motivational quotes along the road with sidewalk chalk. And so little things like that where you can really personalize it for yourself, I think are, it's, it's a great idea and it really, it really adds to the, to the experience. Stensland also encouraged runners to make their race a personal experience because in the end it will be unique compared to other races, that's for sure. That is going to do it for sports tonight. We'll be right back after the break. CBS3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Virtual Video Visits, offering face-to-face -face interaction with your provider from the convenience of home or work. Right now, millions of people and billions of devices are connected to the internet. Homes, businesses, hospitals, schools. The security and reliability of these connections are more important than ever. That's why at Mediacom, we've built a network to protect them. A network that sees threats, fixes problems before they occur, and keeps you going with 99.99% network reliability. DBS, your all things basement company. Does your home have uneven or sloping floors? How about cracked drywall, stair stepping cracks, or bowed basement walls? You may have a problem with your foundation. Call the specialists at DBS. They thoroughly inspect your property and provide a permanent solution to your foundation problem. We offer a fully transferable warranty, unmatched in our area. Contact DBS, your all things basement company, for a free, no obligation estimate. Call or visit us online. DBS, helping your family have a healthy, safe, and comfortable home. The 2020 Subaru Forester. The SUV for all you love. Standard symmetrical all-wheel drive plus 33 miles per gallon. Standard EyeSight driver assist technology. A spacious and comfortable interior. The best SUV for all you do. Get 0% APR financing on all new 2020 Subaru Forester models now through June 30th. Visit us online at MillerHill.com. Save today on your next project with 11% off everything. Now at Menards. Attract a wide variety of birds to your yard with Enchanted Garden Bird Food. Pick up a 40-pound bag for just $8.69 after 11% off. This Larson Lakeview Split View Plus Storm Door features a retractable screen and low-E insulated glass for greater comfort year-round. Just $3.55.11 after 11% off. Start saving with 11% off everything. Now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. At Super One Foods, we go to great measures to deliver you with top quality meat every day. Try our Smithfield boneless pork steak for only $1.99 per pound and get boneless beef bottom round steak for just $4.44 per pound. Plus, we provide the best of the best in fresh produce. Get Washington Extra Large Northwest cherries for $3.99 per pound and six ounces of Driscoll's blackberries for just $1.66. Through all that we do, we've got you in mind. Super One Foods, serving you lower prices and better choices. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW. Cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. Well, we have a very special birthday celebration yeah, we need to talk we about. we sure do. We have, we have to get to it. She's not going to like it, and it's not technically her birthday, but tomorrow's Caitlin's birthday. Yay. And her twin, Matt, she's turning... 24 tomorrow. <laughs> this is a giveaway the age to Oh, I'm, I mean 22. 22. She's turning 22. Yeah, Caitlin's mom put us up to this. She yes. emailed Kristen and I late last night and said, hey, it's Caitlin's birthday tomorrow. Uh, can you wish her a happy birthday on oh air? So God. here we are <laughs> embarrassing Caitlin. And <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen, for letting us know about this. And Caitlin, happy birthday. I was going to give my brother a shout out because I'm a twin. So yeah. I'm going to give Matt I a shout out. I had to fib to you earlier when you said, can I give my brother a shout out? I'm like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> oh my God, you guys Little did you much. know. <laughs> well, thank you. And I did want to give Matt a quick shout out. He watches all of my shows Aww. as well as my family. So. Well, happy birthday to Matt as yeah. well. <laughs>
<laughs> yes. Can we get, I know it's your birthday, but can we get a final look at the one? Yeah, of okay. course. <laughs> I bet she dialed up a perfect day for Saturday. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish for the first day of summer and my birthday, it won't feel too much like summer outside, uh, especially by the lake. So we are going to have that east wind back intact uh, for the areas by the lake. But up on the hill, we're looking at temperatures in those 60s, low 70s. And then rain showers move in Saturday night into Father's Day on Sunday. Won't be a washout, but it's an enough. <laughs> All right. Still get out and enjoy the weekend. Thanks, Caitlin. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.